With the latest free firmware update, SVM2 Tap Density Tester for powder and granules is now able to test according to USB Method 3. Let's have a closer look at the requirements for the USB 3 test with SVM2. Use your SVM2 tap density tester with any switch plate for this method, as tap height can be user defined for USB 3. Furthermore, you need a 100 ml stainless steel vessel with its corresponding lid, specified in the USB method 3, and a hopper for the SVM2 installation. Additionally, use a balance as the measurement process for USB 3 relies on weighing the tapped powder per testing step. Unlike the visual method in USB 1 and USB 2, lid, vessel and hopper are available for purchase as a complete USB 3 package for SVM 2. Test according to USB method 3 is implemented as a separate mode inside our testing assistant test assist. Tap on Test Assist and select USB 3 Test. First, you need to select a testing station. Depending on your installed switch plate, this defines the tap height of the test. USB 3 includes no specification of the tap height, so choosing which test station is up to the user. The selected tap height is shown on the test report. In the second step, you insert your product details. According to USB Method 3, testing can be done with 50 or 60 RPM. This is also selected on this screen. To start testing, the tara mass of the empty stainless steel vessel needs to be entered. The mass is required, otherwise it is not possible to proceed with the test. Next, you need to prepare the sample. To do so, you overfill the empty stainless steel vessel and its lid. It's important that the lower vessel is filled and that you have excess powder in the volume of the lid as well. Place everything on a test station and start the test. SVM2 will now tap 200 times with your selected speed. Once the 200 taps are finished, remove the vessel from the test station. Remove the lid and wipe of any excess powder above the vessel. Now weigh everything and enter the weight in the test assist pop-up. Because we have previously entered the tear mass of the empty vessel, SVM2 now automatically calculates the net weight M1. Place the lid on the vessel again and overfill with powder once more. SVM2 now performs 400 taps. After the 400 taps are finished, remove the vessel and the lid again. Wipe off any excess powder and weigh again. Enter the weight into Test Assist. Test Assist now calculates the difference between M1 and M2. If the difference is smaller than 2%, the test is finished. If the difference is bigger than 2%, the test repeats, but with 200 taps. This 200 tap step repeats up to 3 times, or until the difference is below 2%. As soon as the difference is below 2%, the test is finished and Test Assist calculates the tapped density value. Additionally, it also calculates the average of the measurements. With SVM2, tapped density testing according to USB Method 3 is as easy as never before.
tightly integrated into Test Assist. The user is guided step-by-step step through the testing process, as defined by the USB. Test Assist intelligently adapts to the various test steps and detects whether another round of taps is required. For example, if the difference between steps is bigger than 2%. After successful testing, the results are automatically calculated and a report for printout or network exports is created. This makes SVM2 the most advanced tap density tester on the market.